morning everyone and my name is yogesh sharma today i am going to discuss about the link queue query operators uh, link queue query operators as its name implies that uh, you know these are some operators predefined operators in link queue and uh, by using these uh, you know uh, by using these operators you can write some queries and uh, manipulate the data from the database on the c sharp memory collections so, uh, and uh, there are lots of things we will discuss later uh, so start uh first i want to tell you that the how we categorize the link queue operators and the what are the cl uh, classification criteria so guys there are three criterias actually first one is the input sequence result in output sequence very simple that you are getting some the integer values as a input and you are out giving the output as per the integer values like in in sorted format okay so you are getting the input in integer in unsorted and you are uh, Uh, giving the output in sorted form so this is the first category now come to the second category that is a input sequence result in scalar value and single element output for example that uh, you want to count the complete records of a database table in that condition you have to use the count function which is uh, which returns the scalar output that how many uh, records are available in that particular database table okay so in that condition we can use the this categorize uh, operators okay and final is the no input results in an output sequence so it's a very at at the first glance it's a very looking very strange that you are not getting any input and you are giving the output actually uh, for example that i can take in a very simple example that you want to create a series of integer okay in that condition you can use such kind of or link you operators so guys as per these criterias and uh, i found that there are some you know uh, link queue operator like first one is a restriction operator restrictions means that uh, where you can see that uh, in the restriction operator we have a where clause or where operator where operator means that you want to write some queries as per some condition for example uh, like you are writing a sql query like select a stick from table name where where city equal to this okay and uh, this is the restriction operator second one is the projection operator that you want to fetch some data from somewhere somewhere like memory collection c sharp memory collection like collections like array array list and if you want to get some data from the database in that condition you can use the projection operators then uh, third one is the partitioning operators partitioning means that from the input sequence there are lots of you know inputs you have and you want some some input not the total inputs in that condition we can use the partitioning uh operators ordering operators ordering means that you want to get some data in sorted format in that condition you can use such kind of uh, uh, query operators grouping operators group means that you want to get some data in groups for example that you have a table where the departments has been mentioned like sales hr and uh, all these things but all these things are mixed in a single table but you want the data in the in some groups like hr's department should separate sales department should uh, separate in that condition you can use the group by or uh, group by query operators link queue query operators uh, another is set set is concatenate union intersect accept uh, the role of you know set operators that for example that you want to merge something like uh, you have two uh, list of arrays or you want to concatenate them in that condition you can use the set operators now conversion operator conversion operators mean that whatever data you are getting you want to convert into another object for example you are getting the string i am taking very simple example that you have a string and you want to convert all the string into character array in that condition you can use the two array conversion operator fir uh, another is the generation generation means that you want to generate some output sequence uh, in that condition you can the repeat range and empty okay quantifier quantifier means that you want to uh, you know uh, whenever you are getting the data you want to put some conditions okay you want to put some condition in that condition we can use the quantifier aggregate aggregate it's a very simple uh, example to get the scalar output okay like uh, min max uh, you want to get the you know uh, maximum salary from the employee table in that condition you can use the aggregate query operator joining operators to get uh, you know to joins two tables as per some conditions so in that condition we can use the joining so guys uh, 
still we have learned about the query operators and uh, how we can categorize the query operators um, I can assure you that I will discuss in, uh, all the query operators in my LinkQ query uh, series ok guys so please watching my videos and uh, subscribe my channel definitely it will be helpful for all of you thank you very much